Hey, fellow do-it-yourselfers, how's it going? Just uh, making a quick video. I'm going to install some of these, uh, how you pronounce it? Insinor LED recessed lighting. Uh, they look like this and real thin. So evidently, even if you uh, drill a hole and mount right on a joist, uh, it's thin enough that it will still lay flat with the drywall. Uh, a couple things that was not clear to me. Um, these connectors. So evidently, you just poke the wires in uh, the power line, and they're kind of one-time use. Once you poke them in, I don't think it's easy to get them out. From what I read, you kind of uh, mess them up. But worst comes to worst, you can always cut them, use a wire nut. But looks like a real easy way just to slide wires in. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, what else? Oh, I bought this. This looks real handy. The blue mole. What this does is when you cut those six inch holes, put that up on the ceiling, it compresses, uh, allows the uh, drill cutter to get in there, and uh, that looks like a great way to minimize mess. The other thing, they say just poke out these, uh, oh, I don't know what you call that, the thing that covers the hole there, the knockout, that's what it's called, a knockout. I've never put a junction box in without putting a strain relief Seems like those knockouts might be a little sharp. They don't say anything about a strain relief, but I'm gonna go with a strain relief like that. Looks like, uh, anyway, looks like that, real easy to put in. What else? Oh, here's the dimmer. I found a, a wall plate because I got, you know, porch light here, and this will be the uh, foyer uh, dimmer switch. And I think it's gonna be real easy. Um, I'm not gonna need this wire, I just capped that off. My system has no ground wire, because that's really old, so. I'm just going to wire in the black, wire in the red. It looks like that. Set the brightness with that on off. Uh, just to show you the junction box, really nothing to it. That's it right there. Got a red and a black. That's going to be simple. Um, here's the foyer. I went ahead and painted it and punched some little holes where I'm going to put the can light so I know where they're going. Uh, somebody's got a real cool little layout tool. I'll put a link in the comments on where to find that layout tool because I was a little puzzled on how best to space them. And then up here, I have a, uh, a hanging light. It's original equipment. You know, this is built in the 60s. And basically, it's just a red and a black going to this light. So I'm going to tap into there, run it to all the uh, LED lights, and should be good to go. All right, I'll show you. I'll keep you posted. See ya. All right, here goes the first attempt at drilling the hole. Hey. Center this thing. Good. All right, well, I measured out five feet of wire and uh, stripped the ends, as you can see here, put it through the strain relief, and we're going to try one of these. Just push it in, I guess. Yeah. Put the new, oops, push this one. As you can see that. Oh, that was easy. Okay. White to white, black to black. Let's see, once again, going the wrong way. Can you see that? Simply push it in. There we go. And then the ground. Okay. There. Nothing to it. I'll tight, push that in a little bit and I'll tighten it up. There's the first box with uh, a wire in and a wire out. Looks pretty good. All right, well, that's a wrap. It's cleanup time. And there is on this dimmer, we're done. There's on this dimmer a way to set the minimum, you know, when it's off. Of course, you want it off. But that's this minimum dim right now. Turn it on and you get some light. So the setting that it came with was fine for me. And 
There we go. Okay, four down, 12 more to go. Gonna do this room, gonna do this room. And uh, just wanna say that if you're not comfortable doing house wiring, this is not the project for you. It's a little dangerous. Be sure to turn off the breaker, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, if you don't know why one wire is black and one is white, you shouldn't be doing this. But it's not too bad if you're a uh, kind of guy that's done a lot of house wiring in the past. It's easily doable. Well, thanks. Have a great day. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. So long.